I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll find the angle between line and the plane. The equation here is find the angle between the line r equals to 0, 0, 1 plus t 7 minus 1 4 and the plane 2x plus 5y minus 2z equals to 8 right. So we are given a plane and a line. So let me just sketch a plane just at random, right? Let us say this is our plane, right? So that's the plane which we are thinking about. And then we have a line here. So let the line be kind of going like this, okay? Let this be the line. And we want to find the angle between the line and the plane. So clearly, the angle between the line and the plane will, will be kind of this angle, theta. This is what we need to find. Now how do we find that? The best way to find is to find the angle between the line and the normal. So we know from here that the normal will be kind of like this. So that is the normal vector for the plane. But if I find angle between the normal and the line, I get that angle, which is this angle, correct? Okay, so, so this normal actually will make 90 degrees angle with the plane, right? That is why it is normal. So if I find angle between normal and the line, I get an angle, which is, let us say, phi, right? So how is phi related with 9? So complementary angle. Do you see that? So, so theta will be equals to 90 degrees minus phi. So that is the concept which we are going to use to solve this question, right? So the idea is, uh, step one, find angle between line and normal. To plane right so that is what we'll do and then we know that the angle between line with plane let this angle be phi then we know the angle between the line and the plane is equals to 90 degrees minus phi right so that is the concept so with this concept, you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So what we are given here is the line, which is equals to, this point is 0, 0, 1, plus t times 7 minus 1, 4. So the direction is, is 7 minus 1 and 4. As far as the plane is concerned, we are given a plane pi, let's say, which is 2x plus 5y minus 2z equals to 8. So the normal in this case is 2, 5 minus 2, right? So we need to find the angle between them. So we'll do dot product. So we know m dot n is equals to magnitude of m times magnitude of n times cos theta and so we can find what theta is <coughs> so we could use this formula we say cos theta equals to m dot n divided by their magnitudes right okay so that is the formula for us let's find the magnitudes first or we can just substitute here anyway let's find them here so let me find what values are required. So magnitude of m is equals to square root of 7 square plus minus 1 square plus 4 square, right? Which is, let's use the calculator. Uh, 7 square is 49, 50, 64. Let's do this, okay? So we have square root of 7 square plus plus 1 plus 4 square, let me write 16, equals 2. So this is square root of 66. And as far as n is concerned, its magnitude is square root of 2 plus 
5 plus minus 2 square. So that is uh, square root of 2 square plus 5 square plus you can write within brackets minus 2 if you feel like but you know it is positive so so we could directly write positive also so it is square root of 33 okay so we have their magnitudes and so we can substitute these values here right so m dot n which is 7 minus 1 4 dot n is 2 5 minus 2 divided by magnitude of 66 and 33 so that gives us 7 times 2 14 minus 5 4 times 2 8 with a negative sign and uh, well we have 11 6 and 3 18 so so you could multiply and write it down also so within square root we have 66 times 33 that is 33 square root 2 okay and the numerator for us is uh, 14 minus 5 minus 8 oh it's it's just 1 okay so it's 1 over 33 square root 2 correct so theta the angle is cos inverse of 1 over 33 square root 2 which is equal to shift cos inverse 1 uh, so it's 1 divided by 33 square root 2 so 1 divided by let's put it in brackets 33 square root 2 bracket close bracket close right equals to I mean Okay, so I should do it outside, right? Okay, so so we have to have two brackets there, equals to, we get 88.77. So we get this angle as 88.77 degrees. Uh, well, I should not have written theta. We found this angle, which is phi. So let me just make this phi. Okay, I'm sorry for that. So what we found is the angle between normal and the line not the angle between the line and the plane okay so therefore we have theta equals to 90 degrees minus 88.77 degrees well that's very small angle so it is 90 minus the answer that gives us 1.22 okay one point we said two three degrees so just one degree right so so the answer we get in this particular case is that the angle which the line makes with the plane is 1.23 degrees, right? But anyway, you understand the method of solving. So whenever you're working with line in a plane, you can find the angle between the line and the normal and then take the complement of this to find the angle between line and the plane. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.